are the most heavily armed nation in the world. Violence has become our obsession. A sort of blind mansonism hangs in the air. These people are better armed than we are, literally. America the beautiful and America the violent. Did you have uh, the 38 in your possession? Mm-hmm. What do you think handguns are for? What they for? Why do we have handguns at all? Let's keep people in their place. The increasing violence made gun sales quadruple in 10 years. Two guns for every family. Americans now own more guns than the police and the army. The pistol became an enduring symbol of rugged individualism and romantic self-defense. And America's dedication to the gun remains one of the last vestiges of frontier tradition. Police can't protect me adequately because the police can't function until after the fact. In other words, I've got to be a victim of a crime before they can act. But ironically, the pistol that was meant to protect a man against his enemies on the frontier has turned into one of the greatest dangers in today's urban society. You feel like you have a live bomb in your hand because every time you pull the trigger, it explodes. Today, ordinary citizens who would not otherwise dream of having a gun are buying one because they are scared out of their wits. Fear is the biggest seller of guns. And yet there is a paradox. People buy guns because there are so many other people with guns out there. And the more we arm ourselves, the more guns there are for lawful and unlawful use. Mr. Messerschmidt, how old are you? 75. And do you carry a gun? Yes. Why? protection. I have it in a good place where it's ready and handy to use all the time. Where? My pocket. If I had the opportunity, I'd blow them at them. I'd give them a couple in the stomach, you know, just to weight them down a little bit. How is it living with yourself, knowing that you just took a life where you just shot a guy for a few dollars or a few hundred dollars? That doesn't bother you. Not at all. Do you think it should bother you? I mean, why should it? I mean, you get used to it. After a while, you just laugh at it. I wouldn't try to hit his eyeball or tip of his nose. No. He had to lay there. And I'd bust five ribs on him like they busted on me. When you shoot a person, you shoot a person. So what? Here's a familiar story. A boy, Christmas, and his first gun. A new world of growth and adventure. This one is pinky. It's my pink 22 AR-15. I'm interested in a small handgun to put in a bedside table drawer. Gun lovers flocking to stores all over the country today, buying semi-automatic assault weapons. They've gone crazy over these things. And no gun legislation going to make me get rid of it. Only one of the brothers or sisters who may steal it, and then I will purchase another one. Also moving fast, the semi-automatic AR-15. Okay, what this is? 9mm. 9mm. Uh, I have some automatics. Well, I'm here today to buy a laser sight for my gun. This AK-47 being sold as we came into the store was the last one in stock. What do you want your gun for? I live in a very transitional neighborhood. We are an armed camp. The odds are 5 to 1 that any gun you buy will harm you and your family rather than be used to kill a stranger who invades your home. I saw Daddy with the gun in his pocket, and he pulled it out, and, and Mama said something, and he pulled the trigger. You didn't have the gun on your person in your back, sir? You just handed the gun to her? Handed the gun to her. And then what happened? It just went off. We are literally living in an era of gun lunacy. Robbery, assaults, and even murder are just around the corner for all of us. How long did it take you to get your first gun? About 15 minutes. What did you want that gun for? I wanted to kill somebody. A few weeks after the assassination of President Kennedy, the murder rate exploded upward, tripled in just 10 years. When I pull that trigger, I feel like I own the world, you know. There's no way of stopping it. A new breed of killer appeared. It was a new kind of murder, the senseless killing of random strangers. 
Is America's addiction to violent solutions at the root of what experts say is an explosion of mass murder in this country? Why does it seem that every time we turn around, another desperate soul has decided to kill large numbers of people, often out of nothing more than his own frustration? Two young men, age 18, took guns from a retail counter in a supermarket, then invaded a nearby bank. They threatened to shoot hostages unless they were given a million dollars. She aimed out her bedroom window with this rifle which she'd received for her 16th birthday and shot children walking to the elementary school across the street. When they asked why, she said, because Mondays are always so boring. You're lucky that I'm attorney general and not a nut. Because if I had the ammunition, I could shoot every member of this assembly by the time I finish this sentence. Gun violence is now the leading cause of death amongst kids in our country. Look at this giant gun. So far this year, there have already been 154 mass shootings. This is a warning to the citizens of Austin. Stay away from the university area. This marks the sixth mass killing in California in less than a month. The United States averages three or four mass murders a month. Mass murder by human time bombs has become a deadly fact of life. Isn't it wonderful how much more civilized we've all become since the days of Al Capone and Prohibition? Nearly 20,000 people died of gun violence last year, and another 24,000 from suicide. What? I mean, I I'm sitting there thinking she's crying when she's doing, she's gagging on her blood, out her nose and her mouth. She shot herself, and I saw the bullet hole, and I saw the gun on the floor, and her eyes closed, and she's just going, <sighs> You know, all in the blood and shit, and I freaked, man. I just picked up the gun. I was debating on whether to shoot myself, put it down, you know. I opened up the door, I started screaming, man, murder, you know, suicide. I, somebody get an ambulance, help me, you know, make her live. I started trying to hold her hand, manager grabbed me from her, told her to take my hands off her. I said, bitch, she's my mother. You don't tell me to take my hands off my own mother. <laughs> This is a very famous rifle. This is the barrel. This is the ejection port. This is the carrying handle. This is the stock. This is the fire mode selector. This is the bolt. This is how you load the bullets. And this is how you cock the rifle. And this is how you pull the trigger. Special attention must be given when a student is working with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. Probably one of the most popular rifles in the U.S. right now, thanks to all the media attention. If guns are a protection, then policemen, well-trained in using guns and heavily armed, should be relatively safe. But more and more guns have not made them safer. They have complicated the policeman's professional and personal life. It's always in the back of your mind. Anybody can shoot you. Five DEA agents have been killed in combat with heavily armed drug dealers. Police up and down the state say they want a ban on high power weaponry that fires as fast as you pull the trigger. In two years, three officers were killed in England while America lost 372. I've had two brothers that were policemen and on the job, and one while in uniform, the other working in plain clothes, uh, but they were both shot and killed by handguns. If the circumstances were such where it was either me or the other guy out there on the street in a confrontation as officer to perpetrate or something like that, he'd have to go. <laughs> Across the country, the police arsenals of captured guns reflect the imbalance of the arms race. Disappearing especially fast from the shelves, the foreign-made AK-47. An L.A. street gang member called Sniper, who has survived 10 gunshot wounds. Will gang members turn in their weapons? No. no, no. The war for control of the streets takes on greater fierceness as both criminals and police compete in the race for weapon superiority. In addition to machine guns, Police agencies are also adding semi-automatic handguns with more firepower. Yeah. 
Now let's move into the area of special weapons, the Uzi. The important thing to watch out for when students handle an Uzi is malfunctions. We basically don't see any choice at this time other than uh, equipping our special agent force in a manner at least equal to that force that we are encountering on the streets of America. As a result of the shooting, there are rifles in all the police cars, in all the stations. This group of bank robbers, extra rounds of ammo taped to their bodies and using hostages as human shields. The hostage was struck 10 times by police bullets, killing her instantly. They got them AK-47s out of here now. Tear that shit up. They ain't got no more sticks they and got, knives. They got AK-47s and Uzi assault type days. weapons. Gotta go kill. They trying to kill you. They don't care, so, you know, why should I care? Hey, we copy. You begin up for a shooting. Gotta be very careful when you come up on these scenes. You don't know who's firing at what and what's gonna happen out here. The public generally never sees what you find when you arrive there. A million things go through your mind. You, you, you sit there and say, my God, what's happened here? How could this happen? It's all the general things that the layman would think. You experience these things also. My initial response was, uh, that son of a bitch shot me. An instant later, my next thought was, my God, I'm going to die. He waved the knife around, and I thought he was going to steal my partner with it. I shot one time, the bullet hit him in the arm. He dropped the knife and fell back. You hear you see gun? Gun shows on TV and cop shows on TV and shoot them up and everything. Believe me, if you don't, if you haven't shot anybody before, it's not the greatest feeling in the world. What was your reputation around here? Shooting people in the face. He's got a severe gunshot wound and is still lodged in the top of his head. A prognosis would be grave. Many times we see patients that are shot up with Uzis, AK-47s. You can usually save a good gunshot to the belly with, you know, one bullet. But when you got automatics out there and everything else, you bring them up here, my job's getting a lot more depressing because I can't save them anymore. It's a war, and we're losing. We're losing. We're losing. We're losing. And if we have a lot of young people like yourself going about this country with guns and looking to pull stick-ups, what's going to be with this country? What's going to be? I don't know. That's up, you know, that's up to Washington. All I do is do the stick-ups. I don't run the country. It's always in the back of your mind. Anybody can shoot you. I give him a couple in the stomach, you know, just to weight him down a little bit. You shoot a person, you shoot a person, so what? Nearly 20,000 people died of gun violence last year. They were both shot and killed by handguns. So I've got to be a victim of a crime before they can act. They don't care, so, you know, why should I care? The most popular rifles in the U.S. right now, thanks to all the media attention. When I pull that trigger, there's no way of stopping them. Gun violence is now the leading cause of death amongst kids in our country. Why do we have handguns at all? Let's keep people in their place.